Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. Welcome to another hotel series video, sponsored by Horrible Hotel Coffee, but it keeps me going. Uh, I've been on the road for a few weeks now, I've been meeting with a ton of customers uh, together with AWS, and a question that comes up a lot is, what's the simplest way to experiment with the best models, right? New state-of-the-art models come out almost every week. Um, how difficult is it to just deploy them and evaluate them and see if they're a good fit for our project? So that's a common question and that's exactly what we're going to look at in this video. I'm going to show you how you can literally deploy all the latest and greatest models on AWS with a single click, okay, using uh, SageMaker Jumpstart, which is part of, of course, Amazon SageMaker, the AWS machine learning service. Okay, so it's super simple. Um, let me show you how to do this and uh, you'll be experimenting in minutes. Okay, let's get to work. Our starting point is the homepage of SageMaker Studio. Okay, so go to the WS console, SageMaker console, launch studio, and you should see something like this. Okay, so if we click on jumpstart, we'll see um, a list of all the good stuff that's included here. Uh, it has models from, from different providers, it has some uh, built-in solutions, etc., etc. So lots of interesting things. Let's focus on Hugging Face for now. So click on Frameworks, Hugging Face, and now you see a curated list of Hugging Face models that we can literally one-click deploy inside our own AWS account. Right, so it's just a small number. It's 280 models right now. Um, on the hub, we have probably 350k models. This, these are really the, I would say, the the reference architectures, right? The 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 baseline versions for all those reference architectures. So you won't find the the fine-tuned variants. You'll find those on the hub. But generally, when you want to experiment, I think it's a good idea to start from the I would say the official model that the, the model builders have shared, okay? And, and you can see all the latest and greatest are here, you know, Stable Diffusion, uh, Falcon, including the, the large one, uh, et cetera, et cetera, Llama, Bloom, T5. So lots of good stuff to, to start from. And there's even the, the new model from Mistral, which is a 7B model that outperforms Llama to 13B. Okay, so this came out just a few days ago, literally, and it's already on Jumpstart. See, so if you wanted to try Mistral, this is probably the simplest way. In fact, wh why don't we try this one? So let's click on this. Um, and we could just click on Deploy. We're just going to check the deployment configuration. So we can run this on G5.2XL, which I certainly have quota for. Yeah, so let's just deploy it, right? So this will deploy the model on uh, a SageMaker endpoint, a managed endpoint on this uh, G5 instance, okay? So all we have to do is wait for, I guess, you know, up to 10 minutes and we'll be able to open a sample notebook and start playing with the model. So as you can see, you don't need to do anything <laughs> except clicking. Um, this is based on the work we do together with AWS, you know, building the hugging phase deploying containers, integrating them in the SageMaker SDKs, etc. So really, one click, wait for a few minutes, and you can start experimenting. Okay, so I'll pause the video, and I'll be back when the endpoint is ready. After a few minutes, the endpoint is in service, as we can see here. And now we can just open the notebook. Right, and yes, we need an environment for this. Again, that could take a minute, so let's not wait, I'll, I'll just pause. So now we have a, a kernel to run this notebook and we can just click through those cells. As you can see, we're grabbing uh, the endpoint name that we just created. We write um, a function to query the endpoint. And then we actually see some, some examples and that's super useful because you can see what the inference format is for this. Maybe let me zoom in a bit. 
you can see what the inference, the inference format is, uh, you know, what the prompting format looks like. You can certainly go and reuse that code in your own notebooks, right? And, and then, of course, we can start querying. What's the recipe of mayonnaise, right? Well, well looks like a good answer to me. Uh, I'm going to Paris. What should I see? And we're providing some additional context. Let's try this. And let's run the other ones too. Okay, so yeah, the Eiffel Tower, etc., etc. Uh, in Bash, how do I list all text files in the current directory? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> all right, so we get some Unix shell commands out of that. Uh, more technical question. Yeah, what's the difference between in order and pre order traversal for binary trees? And we get some output and we get a code sample. And that's pretty cool. So, anyway, you can obviously ask different questions to this. Uh, and, and, the, and the notebook is, is a great resource. So, as you can see, um, total time, uh, you know, from opening studio to running uh, commands in the notebook is literally 10 minutes. So exper experimentation time is really 10 minutes. And you can add your data and, and you know, it's a, uh, it's running in AWS. So you could go and pull data from, from S3 or from uh, whatever data store you use and start experimenting, right? And this would be a huge time saver. So no need to manage infrastructure, no need to write code, just start figuring out if this model is a good starting point for the project okay and once you are done uh, please 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 delete the endpoint yes i was looking for that okay so you need to delete the endpoint otherwise at the endpoint we just created will stay there for a while so click on delete okay and you can check here deployments endpoints that exactly gone okay and then you just go and shut down studio okay and this will close everything and terminate all the resources and you stop paying right so super simple open studio go to gemstart find the model you like and um, one click to deployment one click to open the notebook, experiment, figure out if the model is a good place to start. And then if it is, probably uh, go, you know, uh, go with the SageMaker SDK to, to you know, fine tune it, iterate on it, etc., and deploy it in prod, yeah? But for experimentation, I think Jumpstart is just by far the simplest option. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Hope that was useful, um, much more content coming, and until then, keep rocking.